Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then I sincerely thank you for clicking on this video. In today's video, I decided to take a step back from creating a tangible and identifiable subject. I felt like playing around and lately my subject matter has been very straightforward. I was craving something more whimsical and freeform. Uh, generally speaking, I sketch for about 15 minutes, but today I spent over an hour sketching. My sketches, and I don't know why I do this, either fall into two clear types, either figures or landscapes. Uh, today my brain wanted to work in landscapes as that's all I sketched. I also wasn't sketching anything I was immediately drawn to, and that's why I added color studies as well. Usually I avoid doing a color study unless I'm just not finding anything that I want to run with. Thankfully, when I put all the images together, the little green sketch had a surreal and whimsical quality that I was drawn to. Uh, what's interesting about this image is that there was a point prior to me finishing that I thought I was done. But I took a little break, and when I came back, I was compelled to do more. As the video goes on, I'll point out that stage, and you can comment below if I should have stopped or kept going. I do like how this turned out. Um, could I have taken it further? Oh, absolutely. I think I can honestly say that with 95% of my work. But my experience has also been that I can work something right into the ground and kill it. So now when I feel like I've reached a solid stopping point, I generally listen and don't push beyond. I also have a shop to fill and videos to make, so being disciplined with my time is just me being practical. I've also noticed that the music I listen to makes a huge impact on my design. Uh, for instance, when I started working on this, I was listening to mellow music full of ballads and soft rock. But as the image progressed, I changed the music to something more upbeat and lively. And now, as I'm re-watching this footage, it's pretty clear to me when I change the music. As I'm working on this, I'm bringing in more and more elliptical shapes. Uh, my thinking is I can always edit this later if it gets too busy uh, with a particular shape. In my mind, the image is looking a little static, and I'm trying to counter this by adding in spheres. I'm looking to add movement, but I also notice that this is something I always do. Seeking movement and dynamic positioning, and I remember thinking at this time, let's not do that. Let's just be okay with flat for a change. As you'll see, this was a short-lived argument. Flat just isn't as interesting for me, and at the end of the day, I have to find my work interesting. We are coming to that point where I thought I was done, and I literally walked away to get lunch thinking, oh, this is great. I got an image done in less than four hours. What will I do with all the extra time? I allowed myself eight hours to come up with and create a design, and I usually go over that by an hour or two. And this has been something I've been wanting to improve. My goal is to design and produce a video a day. I haven't hit that mark yet. I've been lo uploading every other day, so thinking I was done early was really exciting. At this point, I'm in the second stage of this design. When I came back from lunch, I was drawn to the atmosphere that the background hinted at. Uh, this is also where I had changed up the music. I was thinking, what if I put, put a tornado at the base of the subject and add it more depth by bringing in a foreground landscape? As I'm playing with this, I keep getting drawn to the head portion of this character. That elliptical shape is just reading like horns, and at first I was cool with it as it was kind of cow-like and I thought was cute, but now that I'm changing up this imagery, it's just not playing well with the rest of the image. I wish I had the foresight to know when certain elements aren't working and to just drop them early. That alone would likely save me at least an hour a day, if not more. But I guess I'm just hard-headed about certain things and let myself waste time on things I shouldn't. I'm sure this feeds into my personal life as well, but we'll skip over that. This last stage of the image, aside from the halo or horns, whatever you want to call it, was really productive and came together very quickly. I did notice early on that the image was becoming very heavy on the right side of the page, but since it was a foreground issue, I didn't address it right away. I was more interested in bringing the subject in closer to the foreground by extending the right arm and giving it a little bit more contrast. The fireballs or globes were another element that I wish I had the foresight to just drop. I really have no idea why I kept those elements in so long. They hadn't been playing well with the image from the word go. My only thinking is everything takes time to create, so losing something that took time to make sucks. Oh well, live and learn. 
If you've made it this far into the video, I really want to thank you for watching. If you were entertained or inspired or motivated, please give this video a like and consider subscribing to see more. If you're interested in purchasing any of my designs, the link for my shop is in the description. I hope your day is going well and again, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Have a great day.